So friends, dental implants traditionally used to take three to six months for the treatment time to be done. But now with the advent of CBCTs, newer technologies, surgical guides, better prosthetic materials, we can now complete the dental treatment procedure on the same day. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Charak Chamaya. I am an oral and maxillofacial surgeon practicing with the Royal Dental Clinics since the past four years. So friends, let's talk about something interesting today. Let's talk about dental implants. And let's not get into the boring stuff of what are implants, how they are done, where they are done, and, and all of that. Let's talk about something unique today. Let's talk about how can implants be done in one day and how can the teeth be restored over it on the same day itself. So friends, dental implants traditionally used to take three to six months for the treatment time to be done. But now, with the advent of CBCTs, newer technologies, surgical guides, better prosthetic materials, we can now complete the dental treatment procedure on the same day. So what are the certain differences between the traditional method and this method of placing dental implants? First and foremost, fundamentally, it starts with the diagnosis and treatment plan. When we start with the diagnosis and treatment planning, with the CBCT which we have in-house, we are able to actually plan the angulation, the width, the height of the implant before even entering into the operation theatre. In many cases where the complexities are high, we can even create a surgical guide for the patient. These surgical guides, these implant placement areas help us to determine the angulation of the implant into the bone. Second is the difference in the surgical technique itself. Traditionally, we used to cut the gums, open the flap, look at the bone, then place the drills, then take x-rays, then place implants, then stitch the gums over the implants and wait for the gums to heal. These gums would heal in the next 7 to 14 days by which the implants would have started to heal by now. Hence, it was always recommended that in this kind of a technique we wait for a few weeks before even opening the gums again and placing the tooth over these implants. Now instead of going across so many procedures we now simply place the implants in a technique called as pinhole technique or flapless. Now when we place these implants flapless, instead of cutting the gums, we just make small hole in the area where the implant needs to go. And the amount of bleeding in this case is as low as a pinprick during sugar test. Once we have placed the implants, the gums do not require any healing time. It is only the bone which takes time to heal. Because when we place implants, we make sure that the amount of force with which the implant is placed is high enough to support the teeth. The automatic machines help us do that. The third thing and the most important factor I feel is the prosthetic material or the tooth which we use over these implants. The tooth which we use over these implants are under sap teeth. These sap teeth are unique materials. They are polymer based. They are one of the most advanced materials in dentistry. And the main advantage is they are shock absorbing. When we place implants, we lose the shock absorbing capacity which the natural tooth has. By placing sap teeth over them, the shock absorbing capacity is regained by that area. By using sap teeth, we not only reduce the number of implants required in the jaw, but also we reduce the amount of force which this implant has to take. The implants are made of titanium, hence they are strong, but our bone is not that strong. Hence, usually these implants do not give way but 
it is that these implants start moving in the area and they resolve the bone around the area. Fourth thing, what is the success rate when we use these kind of implants? In our experience of 15 years with these kind of implant technologies, the success rate for implants is 95% in a 5 year period and 90% in a 10 year period which is comparable to any international study for the normal traditional way of placing implants. But what is the downside to this? The downside for certain people would probably be the cost factor. Hence this implant system is comparable to most of your international implant companies the costing is also similar to that of the international implant companies. Thank you.